So how do you know what the multipliers are for 10 degree offset bends? How do you know what the shrinkage is for 10 degree offset bends? How do you know how far apart to put these marks on 30 degree offsets? Well, to know that, you need to know what the multiplier is and you need to know how far the distance is out here. But you need to know the multiplier, is my point. And then down here on three-point saddle bends, how do you know where these outer marks are? So I'm going to help you with all those things and I'm going to try and help you to memorize these various multipliers and shrinkages and outer mark placements on three-point saddle bends. So let's start with 10 degrees. This means multiplier and this is the shrinkage of the conduit. Now over here we have uh, two 10 degree bends for an offset and the distance that the pipe has to jump up off the board is 3 eighths of an inch. So we use the multiplier times the distance which is 3 eighths of an inch and it comes out to two and a quarter. That's how we know the distance between the bends is two and a quarter. That would be the three eighths times the multiplier of six. And now how much does it shrink? Because we are putting bends in the conduit and let's figure out the shrink. So we look over here, it's a sixteenth. And so you go one sixteenth times the three eighths jump. And that's an extremely small number. So we just call that zero on this bend. So we're going to say there's, there's effectively zero for shrinkage. Here's an example of a 22 and a half degree offset bend. The multiplier is 2.6, so that's how I was able to find the distance between these two marks where you make the bends as one mark and there's another mark up here. And so I used the multiplier of 2.6 and the shrink for this bend is 3 sixteenths of an inch. The next angle we're going to take a look at is 30 degrees. The multiplier is 2 and the shrinkage is a quarter of an inch. This is an example of a 30 degree offset bend. So it's 2 inches from here to here. So that's our distance. And then our multiple is 2. So you multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. So there's 4 inches between the marks. So that's where you make your 30 degree bends. And your shrinkage is a quarter inch times the height of obstruction. So you got two inches right here. And so times a quarter inch, you're gonna have a half inch of shrinkage. The next angle we're going to look at is 45 degrees. And the multiplier is 1.4. And the shrinkage is 3 eighths of an inch. Here's an example of a 45 degree offset. Now, the distance from here to here is 13 and 7 eighths inches. You take that distance and multiply it by 1.4, which is the multiplier, you get 19 and 7 sixteenths. Now, this is the distance between this mark and this mark. That's where you make your 45 degree bends. And then the shrink is 3 eighths of an inch per inch. So you multiply the 13 and 7 eighths times the 3 eighths and you get the shrinkage that you would get from going from this fitting to this fitting right here. So let's look at ways we might be able to memorize these multipliers and shrinkages. Now for 10 degrees the multiplier is 6 and the shrinkage is 16th of an inch. One thing you can look at right away is all these are ones, sixes, and zeros. <laughs> that's, that's one thing. And the other thing is the shrinkage is very small because it's a very small angle. So we got a sixteenth of an inch. And a lot of times you're going to be using this for a three-eighths of an inch box offset. And it's so small that we just say it's zero. And then we go to 22 and a half degrees. The multiplier is 2.6 and the shrink is 3 sixteenths. One thing that might help, you see the, the multiplier here is 6 and then the next 3 add up to 6. 
So you got your 30 degree multiplier, which is two, which is really easy to remember. And then you know that, that these three will add up to six. So you got 2.6, 2.0, 1 1.4. So uh, that's one thing you can do to help remember this. Uh, your multiplier for 10 degrees is six. And then the next three, the 22, the 30, and the 45, add up to six. So we got the 22 at 2.6 and 3 sixteenths. You see, it's, you know it's going to be larger because the larger the angle, the larger the shrinkage. So this is 3 sixteenths, and then we move down to 30 degrees. Okay, it's a nice even two, and it's a nice even quarter inch. So this kind of needs to be your base of remembering all the multipliers and shrinkage. So uh, 30 degrees, 2.0 is multiplier, a quarter inch is shrink. So the smaller angles have larger multipliers, but the smaller angles have smaller shrinks. Then we move down to 45, we got 1.4 and 3 eighths. So you can look at this, it's uh, like uh, another 15 degrees, and we'll go with another eighth of an inch over here. So we got 45, the multiplier is 1.4, and the shrinkage is 3 eighths. Okay, these are three point saddle bins. This one is a 22 and a half, 45, 22 and a half, three point saddle bin. This one is a 30, 60, 30 three point saddle bin. And what we're going to try to do now is learn how to remember how to get these outer marks. You see on the 22, 45, 22, the outer mark is out here. It is right here. It says two and a half inch per inch. That's for the 22, 45, 22. It's two and a half inch per inch. And this is a four inch jump from the wall to here. So you multiply the two and a half inch per inch times the four inch jump and you get a 10 inch mark for your outer mark. So for the 30, 60, 30, the outer mark is two inches per inch of height of obstruction. So with the four inches coming out times two, you get eight inches from here to here. Whereas you get 10 inches from here to here. So the thing to remember is this one is two and a half inches times height of obstruction, and this one is two inches times height of obstruction. Now, let me show you how to remember it. Here it says three point saddle band 22 and a half, 45, 22 and a half. Now, watch this. What does that say right there? Two and a half. Okay, so that's how you know. The 22 and a half. You just, you just go like that, and that's two and a half inches for uh, 22, 45, 22. The outer marks are two and a half inches per inch. For the three-point saddle bend, which is the 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 30 degrees, the outer marks are two inches, and what you do is you take the 60 and divide it by 30, and you got two. So the outer marks are two inches per inch for the 30, 60, 30. And they're two and a half inches per inch for the 22, 45, 22. I hope that really helps you with your multipliers and shrinkages and outer marks. I'll put links in my video description for something that, that can help you. And that is the Klein tape measure that has the conduit bending multipliers right on the back of it. It's a, it's a magnetic tape measure. And one cool feature about it, it has a brake. You see, it can go in real slow. You know, some of these have such strong springs on them, they can, they can kind of hurt your finger. So if you want it to come in a little slower, it's got a brake right down here. It's kind of a neat feature. They don't cost much either. They're under 20 bucks. So uh, also, I want to put a link for this new tool bag by Klein. See, it just comes right off. 
It's a modular tool bag. They got four of them. I'll put links for all four. So you put it back on just like that. I'll put a link for the Klein lighted level. Watch this. See, the light comes right on. You check out your work, see how you did. Turn it off, put it right back in your modular tool bag. <laughs> Be sure when you're working with EMT, wear your PPE. Hard hat, eye protection, gloves, safety toe boots. It's really important and uh, I can't stress that enough. So uh, I'll put links for a few items uh, in different brands. Uh, Milwaukee's just come out with new gloves. Um, Klein has just come out with some new gloves. I think I'm going to be getting some. Uh, these are ideal gloves. And these are great. These are wonderful. Uh, I don't know if they sell them though. I got these from the, the uh, national championship in Orlando. That's one reason I really like them. <laughs> you know? And let me, um, let me put a, I'll put a link for this new uh, Dual 12 volt max impact driver. It's really cool for doing this kind of work, you know. It's, it doesn't have as much power as the 20 volt max, but it's got what you need for, for this kind of work, you know. It's got a, a cool hook here. And anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks!